Row six is the Fred Winter Maiden Chase. And we've got a field of 14 this time. And at the top we've got Bookshot or Daniel French. Greenock Islander for Matt Cooper. GRM Citizen, David Robertson. Nicholas Silver, Martin Lidham. San Pedro Cartel, Vinnie Gerard. Wooden Shipley on Van Rensburg. Agent Arlen, Padraig Hogan. Corfada Romero, Derek Hinton. Fearless, Paul Parsons. Marsh Tit for Graham Clutterbuck. My Place Later Days for James Shea. Queen of the Night, John Morgan. The Widow, Joshua Sutherland. And Winning Brillant for Alex Cherry. They're away and racing. Short run of the first, a big ditch. And all safely over it. And heading towards the second. 17 more to take then. 18 in all. They've negotiated the first one okay. And nothing seems all that keen to lead. And the first time this season we've got no pace in the race really. But now Marsh Tit has gone on for Graham Clutterbuck. And you've got winning Brillant in second. For Alex Cherry. And Nicholas Silver is third. They've been passed by the Widow as they get to the second. So we've got over, okay, looking towards the back, Fearless. Just the back marker as they head to the third. Looks like we over that one with Marsh Tick clearing the lead by about four to five lengths to the Widow in second. Queen of the Night on the outside is third as they get to the fourth. So safely over. Past the stand again, we've got the camera back on this side of this race. Past the winning post, then two more circuits ahead of them. Uh, Marsh Tit is the leader by a bad three to four lengths. To Queen of the Night and the pale blue on the outside of the Widow and the black and red hoops. And a bit of a gap to Bookshot in the green and yellow on the outside of Alex Cherry's winning Brillant in those Scottish flag colours with the orange sleeves. And Fearless has made a forward looking move. That was right out the back a minute ago, and he's now right in mid div, as they say. Corfada Romero is after that one as they get over the fifth. Which they're all safely over. A couple out of shot. Wooden Ship and Greenock Islander. And it's Marsh Titters in the lead, leading by three. To the Widow in second. Queen of the Night third as they take. Fence six, which is another ditch. These fences are big, but they look soft. And it's not stopped a few falling already today, though. Uh, Marsh Tit comes into number seven, clearing the lead. And that time, Fearless was the one who made the mistake. I feel getting a bit strung out now. Uh, Marsh Tit, the leader by three to the Widow. And Queen of the Night is third as they come to another ditch. And the leader's gone. That's the second race running. We've seen the other one running, but the second race today, where we've seen the leader crash out and Marsh Tit has gone. Oh, Graham Clutterbuck just didn't take off at all. And that's left the Widow in the lead with Queen of the Night on the outside second. Gap of three or four then to Giran Citizen who's coming nicely around the outside then winning Brillant and Bookshot. The grey Nicholas Silver is next in my place later days. After that one, that's surely a, a, a game bred horse with a name like that as they come down to number nine. And over that one they go with Agent Arlin, just the back marker. And it's the Widow leading into number 10. Has now gone into a clear lead. And as a faller there, Corfada Romero's gone. So, bad luck for Derek Hinton this time as his Corfada Romero departs the race as they come in defence number 8. It's the rest of them gone over okay. They're coming up past the stand for the second of three times. One more circuit ahead of them. Widow for Joshua Sutherland in the lead. From Nicholas Silver has now moved through into second. Then San Pedro Cartel. Bookshot is on the outside of that one. Then Wider still my place later days. And G around Citizen down on this near side. Queen of the Night. Just been going on a bit of a breather. Racing alongside Wooden Ship who's getting closer. Then there's a gap back to Fearless and Winning Brillant who've both dropped back a little bit. And then finally Agent Arlin and Green Islander is the back marker. Into the final mile now. Uh, the Widow is clearing the lead from San Pedro Cartel, who's in second at the 12th. And over it safely. One or two slower jumps though. The field now really beginning to bunch at the top end, and the Widow leads by about half a length with Wooden Ship. 
Coming to close and between the two of them, San Pedro Cartel, wider still, G around Citizen. Also, my place later, Daisy's trying to get into it. Nicholas Silver is going to try and sneak up the inside by the looks of it. So, too, is Queen of the Night. Bookshot's not out of it. Then racing down to the 14th. Over the 14th they go, and now the lead changes, and it's San Pedro Cartel and G around Citizen from Wooden Ship. Then the Widow trying to get back into it. Nicholas Silver now being driven up to try and join that lead in four. Then comes my place later, Daisy. Over the 15th, the final ditch. And and it's San Pedro Cartel who's in front just from Wooden Ship and then Giran Citizen they're racing down towards the final three fences and it's Giran Citizen on the outside who's just about in the lead from San Pedro Cartel on Wooden Ship now back up the inside comes the Widow back in with a chance again my place later Daisy's trying to run on as well they've still got three more fences to take and San Pedro Cartel leads by about three quarters of a length over the third last gets over it nicely from in second place Wooden ship, Giran Citizen on the outside, the Widow is being pushed along over the second last they go, and it's San Pedro Cartel, Nicholas Silva went there, but it's San Pedro Cartel in the lead from Wooden Ship in second, then comes Giran Citizen and My Place Later Days, this is the final fence over, they go, Wooden Ship's gone, Wooden Ship's gone, and now all of a sudden My Place Later Days sweeps into the lead, it's My Place Later Days, who goes on in front there now by three quarters of a length, and up towards the line, My Place Later Days, when just a comeback winner for James Shea, San Pedro Cartel in second, and the Widow third and Giran Citizen after that one and an action pack race again with Leon Van Rensburg looking like he might be about to notch up his fourth winner of the day and it goes at the final fence and my place later days for James Shea back in the winner's enclosure after a season or so away he won the Grand National the first year I was the commentator San Pedro Cartel was second for Vinnie Gerard the Widow Oh, Joshua Sutherland was in third. And my car's just disappeared from the screen. I'll tell you that fourth, if I can get it back up. Fourth was Queen of the Night for John Morgan and Giran Citizen for David Robertson was fifth.